Peace fam, it's the Pressure Cooker and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about AOC um, at the Met Gala, child. Ooh, child. So uh, I found this story once again on LSA and then I cross-referenced some articles because I wanted to see what different people were saying about it. So apparently, um, Alexandria, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, AKA AOC, attended the Met Gala on Monday, okay? And as you can see in this picture, she's wearing a dress, it's a white dress. It almost looks like a wedding gown to me. And it says on the back, tax the rich, okay? Now, um, a lot of people are big mad, okay? Now, uh, um, AOC is known for her progressive stance in politics, um, but some people aren't here for it. Not just people who are on the conservative side of things, but some, some liberals and some progressives, they get mad about AOC. They think she's a clout chaser, they think she does too much, or she's not doing what she should be doing. So I think this is probably gonna be a very polarizing and intense conversation and topic but I'm going to try to unpack what I can, okay? So the thing is that there's so many things that so many questions could be asked about her attending the Met Gala. If this is AOC's message, which is tax the rich, okay? Which I'm not, I'm not against that message. I'm just going to tell y'all right now, I'm not against that message. Um, but is this the best place for her to be doing that? And it does it, you know, does it come off as a little clout chasey? to be attending an event where basically it's celebrities. I don't know who else attends the Met Gala. I really don't keep up with it, but from what I've known over the years, it seems to be mostly people in the industry, whether it's music or um, movies and TV. And in this case, she's a politician. So also let's think about this. Celebrities ha are loaded, right? So what celebrities are actually gonna co-sign this message at the Met Gala? I'm not saying she should be afraid to you know, promote this message. I'm just saying, is this really where you want to go to promote that? Also, how much does it cost to go to the Met Gala? Okay. I'm reading all types of things about ticket prices. They said that it could be 35 grand from 35 grand to 300,000. I'm curious about what she paid, you know, who knows? Maybe she didn't have to pay anything, maybe because of her position. I don't know. But there's a lot of questions here that people have to ask. Some people are just mad, period, because of her message, okay? We know, for example, um, I read something about Chris Brown child. Chris Brown was mad, and he was complaining about Biden. And I was surprised because I thought he was going to be complaining about Biden because of the vaccines and things like that. Chris Brown was complaining about Biden because he's planning to actually tax the rich like he said he would. Now, this is where I think people need to pay attention. These celebrities, okay, we help to make them rich. We help to make them rich. And, you know, they would be happy with us walking around being poor, middle class. They don't give a F. <laughs> so here, this is literally what Chris Brown is complaining about on the internet, is that Biden is taxing the rich, where I feel like there could be so many more things for him to complain about. Anyway, I digress. So to, this is just to show you, there's a lot of people that's not feeling this message. And to me, it feels out of touch to people who, you know, it doesn't resonate with them. Because for me, I feel like um, the rich businesses, they get a lot of tax cuts, okay? Sometimes they be paying little to no taxes, my understanding, okay? So let's keep it real. So I'm not against the message, but I don't know. This is, I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it feels a little bit like AOC is doing a little bit too much. Why did you choose the Met Gala? You know, now you got this dress with all this stuff written over it. What are you doing? Like, I haven't really followed her recently, so I don't know what other messages she's promoting. So I don't want to, I don't want to like, you know, put her on blast because but when I've listened to her in the past, she makes a lot of sense to me. I don't agree with everything she says, but she makes a lot of sense. And so, but a lot of people are saying she's been doing the most lately. So if you guys can drop in the comments, let me know what do you think about this and also what are examples where you feel like AOC isn't really representing her constituents, um, you know, where she's not really doing her job, at least per some people's reports? Or are you in the other area where you're like, people just, want, they're going to complain. She's a progressive woman. <laughs> okay, she's a liberal. They're going to complain. They're going to find something to complain about. They're going to be like, her hair wasn't done. They're going to say all kinds of stupid shit, okay? What do you think? Now I'm going to read this message that she posted on social media after she received a lot of backlash about attending the Met Gala. Also, before I read this, I want to say, um, on LSA, one of the posters stated that the designer of the dress is from Toronto, Canada, and that the designer is dating a millionaire. So 
once again, if this is true, I don't know. I don't know if that's verifiable. This is LSA. You know, does that have any bearings on this? Is it still out of touch? <laughs> you know, I don't know, guys. What do you think? There, there's a lot of questions here, but let's read what AOC said. It's, it's pretty long, so I'm going to try to get through it. I thought about the criticism I'd get, but honestly, I and my body have been so heavily and relentlessly policed from all corners politically since the moment I won my election. That has kind of become expected and normalized to me. The irony is that when women in power take the prospect of criticism to be cautious in their actions, they are then criticized for being inauthentic facts and too calculated, double facts. Ultimately, the haters hated and the people who were thoughtful were thoughtful. But we all had a conversation about taxing the rich in the front of the very people who lobby against it and punctured the fourth wall of excess and spectacle. Honestly, our culture is deeply disdainful and unsupportive of women, especially women of color and working class women and LGBTQ slash immigrant, etc. from the bottom up. Also facts. Whether it's a lack of childcare support for especially reserving pillory um, for elected women and female uh, femme people, sorry. The most intersections as ha um, one has, the deeper the disdain. I am so used to doing the same exact thing that men do, including popular male progressive elected officials and getting a completely different response. So all I can do is acknowledge that reality and make decisions as I am and as I grow throughout my life. She had another paragraph child, but listen, y'all can read it on your own. I think she made some very good points there. I think she I think she pointed out a lot of things that are true, okay? A woman, okay, even a progressive woman could do the same shit that some man did and they still they're gonna be criticized, okay, more than a man would. So I I do think she's making some really good points. One of the many I do want to ask, okay, because it is a political. Um, when you write your commentary uh, and when you give your comments, uh, please try to include why you believe that way. If you just come by and you're like, ah, she's a liberal bitch, you're just going to get deleted because I'm not here for it. OK, it needs to be intelligent commentary. There's no we, there's no reason why we all have to agree. We can have opposing viewpoints, but don't come and write some ignorant shit because I'm not, I'm not here for it. Anyway, that's all I got to say in this video and I'll see you guys in the comments. Bye.